At the heart of each cell we have the DNA spiral double helix, or twisted ladder structure that requires rungs of hydrogen bonds to hold the two parts of the double helix together. Each bond is essentially made up of a single hydrogen atom that unites to molecules. Since the 19th century, when Charles Darwin formulated the idea that mutations create the genetic variety needed for species to evolve, the idea has been that all mutations should happen at random and that evolution is blind. But observations and experiments have shown that environmental conditions themselves play a role in the rate of genetic mutations with far faster rates than expected if the mutation occurred at random. A few people have suggested DNA mutates when the hydrogen atom tunnels quantum mechanically to the wrong half of its rung using the quantum mechanical property called superposition. Before it is observed, the atom will simultaneously exist in both a mutated and non-mutated state, that is, it would sit on both sides of the rung at the same time. The problem is, this is like explaining something that we don't understand by using something else that we don't have an objective understanding of. The puzzle regarding DNA mutations is explained in this theory by explaining quantum mechanics as the physics of time with an emergent future unfolding relative to the atoms of the periodic table. We don't have mutated and non-mutated states at the same time because these hydrogen bonds are breaking and reforming with the future coming into existence with the exchange of photon energy with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment. This represents a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking formed by the wave-particle duality of light. When a hydrogen bond breaks photon energy will radiate out in all directions as a probability wave. Only when this quantum wave particle function comes in contact with an atom will it collapse into a particle forming a new hydrogen bond. Therefore, we have a simple process of cause and effect with gene mutations being relative to the environment in the form of the structure of the genetic process that is unfolding. Firstly, we have one universal geometrical process of energy exchange that cell life is based upon. These basic cells organize into organs such as lungs, liver, kidney which then group into systems such as respiratory, digestive, excretory. Thus, the living body is akin to a community of collaborating units. But each step of the evolutionary process is based on the same universal process of continuous energy exchange or continuous creation. The easiest way to see how this process works in our everyday life is to look at how oxygen and hydrogen atoms bond together to form the characteristics of water. We have oxygen and hydrogen forming standing waves over a period of time in the form of water molecules. In this theory the atoms do not just form standing waves over a period of time but they form their own future relative to their energy and momentum. The water molecules will do this by continuously forming and breaking hydrogen bonds relative to the flow of the water. The molecules of water are constantly moving in relation to each other and the hydrogen bonds are continually breaking and reforming. This process forms dipole moments with the separation of charge with the absorption and emission of photon energy. In this theory this represents the future coming into existence within the reference frame of the water relative to the energy and momentum of the water molecules. We can see this process is relative to the environment because when the environmental temperature drops variations in photon energy forms infinite snowflake diversity with every snowflake being unique. 
in our everyday life this process formed by the wave particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons forms a blank canvas that we can interact with forming the possible into the actual with an emergent future relative to our environment and the energy and momentum of our own actions. Life forms its own ripples in the fabric of space-time forming its own evolutionary path has an integral part of space-time and integral part of Einstein's relativity. With each part being relative to the whole as part of one interactive process. In this theory creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder. Thanks for watching please subscribe and share it will help the promotion of this theory.